Hello, my name is Paul. Welcome to Paul's Political Program. I know the issues and problems facing America, but I don't know how to solve them. We the people do. Hopefully together we'll come up with solutions and hopefully pass them as laws. The format of my program is I state an issue or problem and a possible solution. That doesn't mean necessarily that I agree with it. And you give me your solutions in the comments section under the YouTube video. I hope that's simple enough. The name of today's program is Obamacare and Governor Walker. Is there a better solution? Did you notice Governor Walker, a very popular elected twice governor, is not setting up state insurance exchanges? Did you notice the insurance deductible for Stevens Point public employees is going from a $500 deductible to a $3,000 deductible per family on January 1st? Did you notice Blue Cross Blue Shield and United Health are raising insurance premiums in Wisconsin by 60% in January 1st, 2013? Did you notice a Milwaukee judge ruled an increase in an insurance deductible is a pay cut? Did you notice the Supreme Court ruled an insurance fine for not buying health insurance is a tax? Did you notice this lowers the standard of living for the middle class after spending $1.76 trillion on Obamacare's 30 million, 30 million Americans will still not be covered for health insurance? Is this proof? Obamacare is constitutional. The Supreme Court said it was. They called it a tax increase, a tax increase on the middle class. Rich people do not buy health insurance. The tax may be constitutional, but it is highway robbery. Highway robbery is a crime. If you think for one moment Obamacare is fair, you're wrong. It doesn't cover all Americans, and it drives up taxes on the middle class. If you want a better way, the old way was better. The city of Stevens Point had a low deductible. Why didn't Obama leave it alone? Follow-up question. There are a lot of people out there that didn't like the old way. They said it was too expensive and they couldn't afford it or get coverage and got dropped for pre-existing conditions. Would deductibles have gone up anyways without Obamacare? Premiums and deductibles have been steadily rising for the last at least 10 years. Do you believe the old system was broken at all? What is the best solution if there is one? Solutions and comments are welcome. Thank you and have a great day.